Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I'm here with my best friend Tyler to talk about our favorite driving sunglasses of 2019. Yes. Pretty cool? It's pretty cool. There are a lot of frames on this table. Yeah, we're going to go through all of them, we're going to try them on, we're going to talk about them. But just so you know, when you're talking about driving sunglasses, there's some key ingredients to kind of think about. Like what lens material you want, if you want them polarized or not, how they should fit, how they should look, if you should get metal frames or plastic frames. So we did a whole video uh, describing all of that. There's probably a link somewhere that you can find if you want to kind of learn. But but these are some of our favorite driving sunglasses. So um, they all have the good stuff that you want in driving sunglasses. They're all high quality glasses. And we're just going to jump into it with the Oakley Holbrook tried and true unbelievably popular pair of glasses. By the way, the Holbrook comes in big sizes. It comes in with metal temples. It comes with metal fronts. So this is the natural, regular Holbrook. Um, Tyler's going to model it because he's going to be better at modeling than... I need the big one. I own the big one, but Tyler will throw on that Holbrook. Just a beautiful pair of glasses. Comes with Classic. many, many, many different lens options. Some really, really cool colors. And you just really can't go wrong with that Oakley Holbrook. So from there, I think we're going to just jump into a really cool pair of glasses from Spy called the Helm 2. This is the updated version of the Helm. It's got a little bit of grip where you need it. Super strong temples, super strong barrel hinges. Just a beautiful pair of sunglasses. Super cool. Kind of similar looking to the whole book, mm -hmm. kind of that world. Um, so that's the that Helm 2 from Spy. And uh, yeah, we like those guys a lot. And then I think you should try on the Del Mar. So this is the Costa Del Mar from the Del Mar collection, the model is also called Del Mar. They really mean it. I like this frame. It's so cool. I love the keyhole nose bridge. Yeah. It feels really good. And this, they are a brand that you would also be able to get glass lenses. Oh. You can get plastic lenses. So that's another thing that people ask for when they're looking for driving glasses is, is what lens material. And if you like glass, Costa is the way to go. Yeah, and Costa does glass lenses in prescription, which is super rare and super cool. So if you want glass, that's that's the way to go. Should we just should we stick with Costa while we're on Costa, yeah. or should we? Yeah, let's just we'll mix it up. This is the Slack Tide, I believe. Yeah, I like this frame a lot. A lot of grip, um, kind of a frame that's like a secret sport frame too. It's got grip where you need it, stays on really well, but kind of has more of an everyday look to it. And all Costa lenses are going to be polarized, so. This is, I think, just a super cool frame. Are they a hair small for me? I have a big head. Tyler has a small to medium head. I have a large to extra large head. I, I think well. they, they fit all right. They're super comfortable, yeah. I'll tell you that much. And then the uh, Arnanzis is next. Did I say it right for the first time ever? Arnanzis. Arnanzis, I can't. I love them. Ar Arnanzis. No, <laughs> yes. Uh, this is the acetate <laughs> collection from Costa, so not so much like on the boat, but kind of like driving to the boat pair of glasses, and uh, those are beautiful. That colorway is just amazing. Driving those look good on you. You should get a pair of those. You hear that, Costa? Yeah, you should get a pair yeah. of those. Uh, you can't talk about sunglasses and not talk about the Wayfair. This is the Ray-Ban Wayfair. This is the new Wayfair. There's also an original Wayfair. Then there's an Ease Wayfair. Guess what? We have a whole Wayfair video if you want to learn all about Wayfairs. But, I mean, the most classic pair of sunglasses really ever was that there ever one, was. Yeah, yeah I, have the, I wear the big ones. So that's the thing to note about the new Wayfair is that it comes in three different sizes. This is more the mid size, which I can fit. There's a smaller size and a much larger size, which is what this gentleman wears. But this is kind of a classic. It isn't the original Wayfarer, but I think nowadays you're seeing more of these mm -hmm. than the yeah. original Wayfarer. Yeah, that's that's the one that, that moves a lot. And then uh, one of my personal favorite pairs of glasses is the Sliver. There's also a Sliver XL, which is a little bit deeper, which fits my big cheeks a little bit better. But I love the Sliver. It's such a comfortable pair of glasses. A little bit dressier look from Oakley, even though Oakley is usually known for more of a sport. Uh, brand amazing prism lens technology lenses on them. Just the contrast you get is just unreal. Even from their neutral gray lenses, you get increased contrast with prism. And you can get prism in prescription, which is pretty cool. So um, that's the sliver. I'll just move it, move it, move it, move it along. Ooh, you should try on the Randolphs. So this is a, a brand that really has a, a niche, niche, niche in kind of the shooting world. 
But they make such a, it's US made, they make a really good quality frame and they look cool. The bayonet temple, that kind of uh, more, uh, I don't know, newer design of the Aviator that's called the Aviator, but double bridge, a little more squared. I like this frame. They're amazing and they're made in the US. It's kind of cool. Yeah, really, really, really high quality frames. Those frames are a lot. You can, you'll give those to your son. They'll like, yeah. they'll go forever. Cool. Um, and then Kanan has some amazing SR91 lenses. Their new lenses, the ultra lens. So much contrast, hard to scratch, lightweight, impact resistant. This is the Burnett Mid. How many Burnettes are there? Three? Three. Yeah, the mid's gonna fit you. I need the XL, who are we kidding? And so talking about SR91, it is uh, actually a different material than you'll get with a lot of other plastics that are more of a, of a polycarbonate mm -hmm. material. Uh, the SR91 is their own proprietary material and it is optically much clearer than an average like polycarbonate lens. And this is, this is a good addition. They had, or it's newer, the Burnett Mid, they had the Burnett and the Burnett XL and the divide between the two is really wide and this fills that gap. I yeah, like it. it's really good, fits you well. All right, these aren't gonna fit either one of us, so I'll just be the funny one and put them on. This is the Moonlighter from Oakley. It's basically a female version of the ever popular frog skin. Um, beautiful pair of glasses. I shouldn't even try them on. Beautiful man. You can put funny comments, because I deserve them. Um, and yeah, we'll just move on. But these are awesome glasses. Yeah. We love them. Why don't you talk about your Serengetis? Okay, so Serengeti uh, kind of is, I feel like they're gonna feel that they are the most appropriate frame in this category, especially when you consider one of their lenses is called the driver lens. I mean, they've built a whole business around driving. So That's like, right. Yeah. Uh, so classic kind of aviator style, a little more squared, uh, but one thing to note about Serengetis, and I think all Serengetis, is that they have a, a photochromatic lens, which means that it changes how dark it is depending on light conditions. Uh, you'll notice that it is dark on me even though I'm inside. It always has a tint. Uh, but it is also polarized. You don't have to get them polarized because they are available in prescription, uh, but there is a polarized option. Anyway, uh, a really good lens and definitely... They're actually darkened behind the windshield. Yes. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Most photochromatic lenses don't, so yeah. that's pretty cool. They definitely and deserve a I think for me, this is like the most tried and true. Like, I feel like I need my half gloves with the open uh, knuckle and like a scarf and like a Kangol cap and like a little T-top, like a... And the, the, like these are to me like you talk about driving glasses, even though they're called aviators and they're for fun. I mean, I just feel like this to me is a driving pair of glasses. I would love to see that. You made a really good image. I think we need to make that happen one day. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, Ray-Ban Aviator comes in many sizes, um, comes in many colors, many lens options. But the Ray-Ban Aviators, I mean, I think I think uh, they sell a lot of they sell a lot of these. They speak for themselves. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, we have a uh, Maui Jim in here. Maui Jim is known for their polarizing, good quality frame for sure. We have the Kanaioi. Yeah, Kana Kanaio. They're Kana also known for giving a really complicated Maui. Hawaiian names to, Maui their, Jim. to their friends. Yeah, Ka Kanai Kanaio Coast. Uh, but this is a good one. It's, it is one of the the few on here that's wrapped. A lot of people like a wrapped frame, yeah. and there is a place for that for sure. You get a little more coverage. Uh, it's not necessary for a good driving glass for sure, but uh, this does also have a nice little uh, rubber uh, kind of nose piece in there, but is also a bit smaller of a fit, so I'm Those glad I put really this nice. on. really yeah. nice. So these are some of our favorite glasses for driving for 2019. If we missed one that you think should have been on here, put it down in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, you can put it in the comment section or you can call and talk to one of our opticians. We're really friendly. We wanna help you get the right pair of glasses. We can do them all in prescription. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Later. Bye-bye.